Greetings viewers, this is CP666 signing on, and today we're going to be installing Linux on this Compaq, uh, mainly because I'm sick and tired of Windows Vista, and uh, I'd love to have a Linux machine. Um, the only things that I'm really worried about working are audio and the wireless, because the wireless doesn't work in Vista, so I don't know if it's going to work in Linux either. I know it did work in Windows 7, at the very least. But the only things that I need to work are a web browser, um, Audacity, which is a, an audio recording program. I can get that for Linux, so that's not a big deal. Uh, screen recording. I think I said an Office program, but if I didn't, an Office program and VNC. That's all I really need. So I'm going to be actually installing Linux Mint 13 with Mate. Uh, I tried. Linux Mint 15, um, but for whatever reason, if we go ahead and take a look here at the ISO that I downloaded, for 15 Mate DVD 32-bit, it is 0.98 gigabytes. I think it's supposed to be bigger. Um, as it turns out, I have a corrupt ISO file. Um, and this program, Linux Live USB Creator, doesn't even support Mint 16 yet. Um, I'm downloading Mint 16 over here because I mainly want it. Uh, one other thing that I'm worried about is power-wise, uh, because the electricity has been flickering on and off um, lately. It hasn't done it like yet, um, or recently. It has done it before, but it hasn't really recently flickered on and off. I just hope that we don't lose power because the battery on this computer is in terrible condition and I don't want it to go out in the middle of an install. I don't know why the cursor is doing that jumpy thing every once in a while. I really don't understand it. Um, the hard drive is reading absolute balls to the walls. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. I highly doubt it. Alright, let's take the USB, plug it in, and begin with the install. Oh, get out of here. Reboot. Probably gonna have to hit F9 and rearrange the boot order. So that we can boot off of this one gig USB thumb drive. Yep. It's exactly what we have to do. So here's Mint. We'll just start it up in live mode. This is only 32 bit. Um, I still have to uh, verify the checksum so that I don't burn a bad disk, because I don't have any more DVDs. Network disconnected. You are now offline. Disconnected to the internet. Shouldn't we connect in any way? Because I don't care who's going to ask me to connect. I don't care. Get into my face. Yes, I'm out the partitions. Come on. Replace Windows Vista with Linux Mint. I don't need anything on that disk, so basically screw all of that. Let's begin installing. This is only 32-bit. I think I already said that, but... In case I didn't, well, now you know. No, oh, that's interesting. This picture will be associated with your username and be displayed alongside it at times. Oh, uh, why not? Let's just take a picture. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close the uh, closet door first, though, because this doesn't need to be open. Of course, then you're going to see all the mess. That is the floor. I might just like, get really up close with it and see what we do. Uh, can you see that? I think you can see that. Uh, now I can't see that. Whatever, I'll just hold the camera like this. Uh, you won't be able to see what I'm doing, but I don't really care. Uh, okay. I don't think that is supposed to be that glitchy. Might just choose to take another one, so I know that the webcam works at the very least.
Alright, so that's now installing and copying files. I'm not sure what the deal is, but things aren't downloading properly lately. As you can see, the checksums don't match. So we're going to have to download this all over again. Which is a lot of fun, and a lot of time that I've just wasted. Alright, install has finished. Let's go ahead and reboot. See if it worked the way it was supposed to. Be nice if it did, because then I won't ever do anything to it to work any better. Nope, there's no disk in that drive. Alright. Something's happening. Looks like it might be working. See if sound works. I know it works in VirtualBox, but I don't know about standalone PCs. Usually it doesn't. Yeah, I guess it doesn't. <clears throat> yeah, it makes sense. Nothing ever works when I want it to. Alright. Yeah, it's only 32-bit. I might have to do something about that. What is this 16 gigabyte file system that it keeps talking about? Because it doesn't exist. Why is this going so slowly? It's one thing I never understood about the X window system is it takes forever to do anything. I'm going to close that. What is this 16 gigabyte file system? And what? Is it plugged in somewhere? No, it's right here. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. So it's right there. All the stuff that's on this is right there. And this isn't even plugged in. I don't understand that. So we're just going to eject it because obviously it doesn't even exist. Oh, you know what it might be? It might be this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's this. The 16 gigabyte sand disk thing there. I don't even need that, so... That can just get out of here. Updates are probably ready for the computer. Let's go ahead and connect to our network. And our password. Please work. I don't know what the deal is there, but it seems to be blinking on and off between um, colors. It used to do that in Linux before. I don't know why it's doing that, but that seems to be working, though. Oh, we gotta enter a password. First thing that we need to do is just download updates. Couple that are failing here. So, let's see, how many updates do we have to install? One update, mint update. New version of the update manager. Sure, install. Alright, here we have Audacity. Let's go ahead and install that. Oh, I'm gonna enter our password again.
It's downloading. Yeah, look at that. I don't understand why Linux does that. All right, should be now installed. Go ahead and open it up. Capacity 2.0. It's not the most recent version, but who cares? What else? Wanted VLC or VNC. It's already got VLC on it. Alright, let's install X Screensaver. I'm gonna do things via the command line here. Using the apt get command. Remove. Remove GNOME Screensaver. It's gonna ask me for my password, of course. Oh, it's not installed. Okay. Let's try this again. It's Mate Screensaver instead. Because, of course, this is not GNOME, this is Mate. Alright. Let's install X screensaver. In whoops, install. Let's see, X screensaver. X screensaver GL extra. And then X screensaver data X data extra. Alright. Following new packages will be installed. That's okay. Yes. Hopefully that will go ahead and work and it won't fail. I see it working here. This is what the terminal all does. Let's see here, we have screensaver, startup applications. All right. Let's go ahead and add this stuff. We need to type in X screensaver, no splash. Go ahead and add that. Close this. Screensaver. Damn it is not running. Let's go ahead and launch it. Alright. Only one. Do we have the blue screen of death screensaver on here? We should. Oh, it's not installed yet, so let's go ahead and install that. This is what I like to see. Sorry, a system error occurred. Alright. So it's just for various 
things that works. You now closes, close the terminal, and install updates. All right, so that's all well and fine. Um, you can close that because we don't need that anymore. I don't know what it's doing, but Sue. Let's just go ahead and reboot. I've probably got sound, so I'm going to have to plug in this, just in case it decides I'm going to play a startup sound and make it really loud, because well, it's about 4.20 in the morning. And by the way, that wasn't intentional. <laughs> Alright, there we go. It's now set up the way that I want it to be. I do like it like that. I guess it really doesn't matter. It looks pretty good. Alright, we can shut this down. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then.